Welcome to the North Dakota 4-H Dairy Cattle Showmanship Educational Video. This video is designed to assist youth in learning the proper practices to become more competitive when showing dairy cattle. This video is a visual supplement to the North Dakota 4-H Livestock Showmanship Guide, publication number GB092. Dairy cattle showmanship is universal in all parts of the world, so this video is valid no matter where you live. Like other showmanship species, your first impressions are powerful, so begin strong. Give the judge the appearance that you are in the show ring to win. Be confident in your mannerisms while being calm and relaxed. As the exhibitors walk into the show ring, they will be walking in a forward motion until the animals are all in the ring. Enter the ring in a clockwise manner. This will give the judge the best view of the animals. The halter is held in the left hand of the exhibitor at all times. Your left hand is inside the chain of the halter. The lead strap should be relatively short as the lead strap is coiled up in the left hand as well. The less leather you have in your hand, the more comfortable it will be to hold. The lead strap is coiled, not raveled, to where if the animal would happen to get away, it would not drag the exhibitor. The halter needs to fit the animal. The nose strap should be halfway between the muzzle and the eyes of the animal. The snap on the chain should be to the outside. A proper fitting halter will provide for optimum control of your animal. Your right hand can be used to provide support to your left hand to hold the animal's head high for impressive carriage, as well as remaining the animal's natural look. Once all the animals are in the show ring, the exhibitor will turn and lead backwards at a slower pace. Your hand positions on the halter do not change. The right hand of the exhibitor may grab some flesh in the throat of the animal and slightly pulled to aid in cleaning up the throat and neck area to make the animal look more feminine. When the judge asks the exhibitors to pull into line, the exhibitors can walk in a forward manner, pick up the pace, and get to where the judge asks quickly. All other times, except entering and exiting the ring, the exhibitor will walk backwards, seldom will you ever sidestep. When pulling into line, slow the animals down to get them to stop in a straight line. The first animal that is asked to move into line determines where the line will be. Everyone else follows the lead animal. The exhibitor may use their foot to stop the front left hoof of the animal to get her to stop in place. However, be discreet. The first thing you will do any time the animals stop, whether it's in line or head to tail, is set the legs. When showing heifers, if you were on the left end of the line, set the hind left legs slightly behind the right. If you were on the right side of the line, set the hind right leg slightly behind the rear left leg, while keeping them comfortable under the animal. The heifers or cows in the middle of the line can set either way, but when in line the leg positions do not change. Don't set the dairy animal's feet too wide. You are not trying to make them look wide-based like meat animals. If lining up head to tail, set the legs so the show side hind right leg is slightly behind the hind left leg. When showing cows, they are the opposite. The show side, or the side that the judge is on, that hind leg should be slightly ahead of the leg not on the show side. This gives the judge a better view of both the fore and rear udder. Once in line, the responsibility of the exhibitor is to make sure the animal is looking their best. Set the crops up as well as possible, 
the loin should be set to be level to give the top line as straight of an appearance as possible. Again, any time the animal stops, the priority of the exhibitor is feet, loin, judge. Set the feet, depending upon if it is a cow or a heifer, where you are in line. Set the loin, make the top line of the animal as straight as possible, and then find where the judge is at. Always keeping an eye on your animal. When showing any animal, the appearance of the animal is the most important responsibility of the exhibitor. Dress code for dairy exhibitors is a white shirt and hard-soled shoes. The color of the pants is up to local management. White pants or dark jeans are acceptable in most shows. The color white is a sign of cleanliness and purity, so white is preferred. Make sure your clothes are clean, in addition to making sure your self is well groomed. No hat, no hat ring, um, no uncombed hair. Ladies will usually have their hair up in a ponytail or a bun. The animals need to be clipped according to show standards. Animals need to be clean and well managed. Questions are fair game in any showmanship contest. Know when your animal was born. Know her sire and her dam. What did you do to get her ready for the show? The type and quantity of feed being fed and maybe know her pedigree. Dairy showmanship follows a unique method of placing. Many times judges will place them when they are standing side by side. The animal that is placed first will lead out first. The animal placed second will lead out second. Now the animals are leading in the order in which the judge may place them. Never use a figure eight pattern to place dairy. Dairy cattle should not make sharp turns. It makes their feet appear awkward and may lose body strength. Judges will place the animals first to last. Judges should place the classes so the spectators can see the rear of the class. Showmanship in dairy is about character building. Your first job is to make the heifer or the cow look as good as possible. We encourage you to follow the guidelines of the show and remember to have fun in your dairy experience.